Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, somebody was inquiring about the, uh, you know, yearly reading 2024 for you. I'm yet to complete the yearly reading, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It is just that because of the throat infection, I'm not able to complete the reading, uh, which is in length for, let's say, 30 minutes or so. And that is why I'm just waiting for a couple of more days to get my throat into much more better shape and action so that I can cover your, excuse me, for my, you know, uh, I'm just waiting for a couple of days so that I recover completely from my cold and cough. But I will definitely do Cancer Scorpio Pisces yearly reading. So let us see what is there in the month of December for you guys and I'm going to pull out your angel messages and then I'm going to pull out your tarot cards as well just in a while to see the month in detail. So yes there is a temple path for you and then you have fourth chakra archangel Raphael and then you also have a card of hostilities into your reading. A tough month for sure. Lot of pain lot of internal emotional disturbance you will feel lot more possessive obsessive about your own people your love life your work your own assets and the whole month says that you need lot of continuous healing and support connecting doing your positive affirmation connecting with your inner self connecting with your own prayers that is something which is really going to help you, heal you. But yes, something you are holding very tightly in your hand, Scorpio. It could be a love relationship. It could be an unpleasant situation. Maybe you are, you are going through some prolonged emotional mental trauma. Which means that you are so badly hurt that you are talking to people about the same experiences and you are not able to come out of that situation. Which really happens... When you keep on moving in a circle, circle around a particular situation and you are not able to come out of it. This is a situation when your heart chakra is completely spoiled. And when you see this particular card, fourth chakra, this means you need a lot of support as far as your heart goes. So yes, try to go through your healings. Try to connect with your heart chakra. There are a lot of YouTube meditation in case you need support from Delhi Tarot. You can connect with us, but yes, you need to do something about that past experience. You need to let it go. You will take your own time, but then this is very, very important because otherwise you are developing a habit of self-defense, uh, being over-possessive and protective about your stuff, which is not going to help you much in the longer run and with these three cards you also have the number three two and eight so google this angel number there is a message lying out for you in the angel number three two and eight and you know it also says that you are you will become very very sharp rude up to the extent of hurting people because you are very hurt when you are hurt or what you have right now with you you will definitely give the same things to other so I do feel in the month of December, I'm trying to tell you to give you a precaution. Try to ensure that you are, uh, you know, you are paying some attention to your communication and, you know, in not just in personal life, but even in professional life, because there are chances that you will hurt more people with your hurt and with your communication in time to come. Now let us see what messages do we have in fairies. There is a marriage. Everything is going to be okay. And this is such a such a beautiful confirmation from angels that whatever is going through or whatever is happening, everything will come to a resolution, solution and things will fall at place for sure. It says don't worry. It's all working out very beautifully in your favor. Oh my God. And this is what I was trying to explain it to you. It says emotional healing as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. Trust me, you know, when your heart chakra is blocked, your complete body chakra, it is blocked and you don't allow things to enter into your life. You're closed with love. You're closed for any new love, any new blessings in your life and you keep on mourning over something past. 
so just ensure that you are you are you know careful you are aware about it you are watchful of that and you are doing something about it because this is the need of the hour for you and the first card of marriage says the fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss yes a lot of people will see marriages formal engagement but this is also partnership collaboration in professional life this is a long term association where two people know each other very well they like each other very well and they finally decide to join hands so that they move forward beautifully in their journey ahead now this joining could be in personal life this joining could be in professional life but what my angels are saying that this is the solution to all your problems you know going ahead with a person who is there in your life or who is about to enter into your life and you feel that both of the parties are really liking each other this could be i'm talking i'm already telling you that this could be a marriage but this could be a partnership collaboration as well trust me this is the divine intervention because this is going to be the solution for you in the crisis you are going through and the other angel messages are you are protected from all types of harm the worst is now behind you already i ask you to relax and feel completely safe with whatever is going on in your life so just be sure that whatever you have seen that was the worst and it is over now time and again you have to remind yourself scorpio that it is over and that is past if you'll keep on living in past you know in order to make your present and future you have to come out from that past and the other card of the reading is new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through originated passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love oh my goodness so all the cards here are talking actually and absolutely about your heart chakra and i told you this could be a new person or this could be an existing person in your already into your life but i do see december you are definitely starting a new relationship for sure and everything in the month of december is revolving around your heart your feelings your thought and that is going to be very very important for you in the complete month now let us see what messages do we have for the first 15 days for the month of december and you have got four of pentacles and you have got seven of swords and then you have got ace of wands okay and let me see what other messages do we have for you we have queen of wands in the second part of december that is 15th to 30th of december we have got nine of wands and we have got seven of pentacles okay now if i see your first 15 days of the month of december there is a new opportunity your way whether you get it in the december month or january month i do feel very strongly that there is a change coming into your profession however there are few past things professionally personally also which which are not resolved and you were running away from the resolution and outcome and solution seven of sword is a situation which says that if you do not resolve the important things at its own right time it will come into your life in a bigger and a in a huge way so yes seven of sword is a reminder to you scorpio that if something needs attention any aspect of your life and it is pending from your side that oh i need to complete this i need to finish this off at least from my side the other side i am not sure but i should complete my responsibility i should complete my duty that thing is needed in the first 15 days and four of pentacles says whatever you have grab it do not change things immediately abruptly take a wise decision and grab the money grab the opportunity which you are going to get it also says that if you are looking for a change you must plan your change you must have a strategy that how you are going to change leaving something and then waiting for something new 
to happen immediately without a gap is something which is not going to work for you. So take your own time in replacing the old with the new. In the second week, your again your emphasis in, is on your personal life and professional life both. Professionally, you will see that things are becoming better, but I don't see that there are there is any major action you are supposed to take in the month of December. Waiting, watching, witnessing how things are unfolding, how things are changing. That is actually going on very well for you. Seven of Pentacles says that your hard work sooner or later will pay off. Now, when this is a situation, you will feel that, oh, things are turning your way in the month of December. But just going quickly and, you know, being aggressive, impulsive is not going to help you in this month. Yes, you will have opportunities of your choice sooner or later, but you have to wait. So December can also be the waiting period because when I was reading your Ace of Mon, I was absolutely clear that whether it is December or January, you will get a new opportunity, but then you have to wait for the right time to come forward. And then you have Nine of Wands, which says that you are still not trusting yourself. You are not still you, you know, there is some fear, there is some anxiety, there is some stress still and because you have a doubt for whatever happened, what, what, for whatever has happened in the past. So this is the time when you need to work out. If you feel there is an extra burden, any part of your life, you have to let it go so that you feel relaxed first and then you move forward for the other aspect. You also have Queen of Wands in the second part of the month of December, which says that there is a support coming from Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Primarily, there could be a working professional woman, but that could be, you know, there are possibilities that there could be male or a female. But yes, you will be supported very well. And yes, in the, in the first and more in the second part of the month of December, it is very clear that your own hard work, your own passion is going to give you this kind of result which you can expect by the month of December end. Now let us see what angel therapy is going to be helpful for you in the month of December 2023. And we have Archangel Michael and it says you are working very closely with this powerful Archangel who is actually protecting you and guiding you through a very tough situation which you have gone through or which you will be going in the month of December. So let me tell you, Scorpio, I'm not saying that your month of December is going to be very great, but the people who are going to enter into your life or people who already are your friends and well-wishers and there is a change coming in that relationship, that is going to be your solution that is going to be your long-term resolution. So if something is coming with a proposal and if a person is new or if a person already exists in your life, listen to their proposal, what they are coming to offer, how you are going to get benefited, how they are going to get benefited and if there is a collaboration partnership, how it is going to be because this is going to be into your favor for sure. Now let us see which crystal message is going to be lucky for you and which uh, crystal will be good for you. You can buy that crystal in a form of a pendant, bracelet, whatever you may feel like. It says dolomite and it is roughly in color pink. It says stay strong in your trust and in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. The more you're positive, the more you are moving towards Yes, you are going to receive sooner or later what you want with a positive frame of mind. See how beautifully the resolutions are coming at the surface level. Dear Scorpio, do let me know how you resonated with your December reading. I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.